Hi there, I am Aditya and in this video I am going to show you what ROS is all about in theory. Well, in the technical or practical uses, ROS is basically a software that is an open source software and available only on Ubuntu devices and we use terminal for interacting with ROS and if you haven't haven't have the clarity in the uh, mind of how theoretically ROS works, it can be super difficult to deal with it in, on the terminal interface where things are not quite clear what is exactly happening in the entire robot operating system that we have there. So uh, if I have to explain ROS very simply, uh, like in a sentence, it will be it is a complex version of YouTube. So uh, why I will use the word YouTube, I'll quickly show you how similar it is to YouTube. So now for a moment, we will uh, totally forget about ROS and uh, see what YouTube is all about. So we have a YouTube uh, YouTube channel, uh, okay, YouTube website. And over here, what we have is a node. And it, this node is let's say spidey and over here is a node node is nothing but user let's say user user in youtube terms there is a user uh, i go to youtube i create an account with name spidey and i create another account or another person creates another account with say uh, name ram uh, what spidey does is uh, he creates a video create about how to jump uh, if it makes sense let's let's see he makes any video who cares for the moment let's say how to jump uh, spidey is going to show you how to jump so uh, to make it uh, something realistic uh, let's add how to jump really high. Mm, now it's something that people will click and waste their time on. So now we have uh, Spidey. Uh, he has created a video and in order to upload on YouTube, what he will do is, uh, if you have ever done, you will create a channel. A channel. And channel will be mm, Spidey tips this is the name of the channel okay so this is the account of the user this is the channel he creates and in this channel he creates a video the user creates a video and uploads it to this channel now what ram is doing here is on the user end ram will uh, have no idea if there is something Spidey is doing. Ram has no clue what Spidey has done. But if Ram goes to YouTube, search the channel Spidey and subscribes it. So whatever is uploaded by Spidey goes to Ram. So Ram can always access whatever Spidey is uploading on the channel that Ram has subscribed. Now we will see how or what this has to do with ROS. Instead of ROS, uh, instead of YouTube, what we have is ROS Master. And uh, instead of user, we have nodes. Nodes. Okay, so uh, it should be node one and node two. Let's say uh, uh, I'm keeping it simple. Uh, usually the uh, uh, this uh, unique identity attached to the node is uh, too complex and every node has unique identity. I'm setting one and two. So what I will do is uh, name the node as talker and talker uh, is nothing but a piece of code that publishes 
uh, let's say numbers he publishes one two three dot 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 till one thousand okay so talker is publishing this content but where is he publishing in order to publish talker has to create a channel uh, talker here is uh, analogous to spidey and uh, the now counting his ring from one to thousand is printing talker is a program that is printing one to three till thousand is the video that he wants uh, so it is the video let's say the video in text format one two three four and it's need to be uploaded somewhere so he will create a channel uh, let's say the channel name as some topic i'll let's let the channel name be topic so the talker is creating this content and he is publishing this content to this topic and um note two is listener this is also a code what he does is subscribes this channel subscribed so what will happen is if i call the uh, if i see uh, call the uh, talker on terminal i'll see it is uploading 1 2 3 4 i can see that on the other hand if i will call uh, or uh, put the command to show what the listener is uh, having a listener is uh, obtaining or is getting from any topic what listener is receiving at all if anything i will see that with no time difference close to none whatever the talker is publishing to the topic channel uh, to the channel topic uh, the listener is immediately able to uh, watch it it is like a live stream happening over there and all is happening in the presence and uh, supervision of ross master as was the case of in presence and supervision of youtube so this is uh, a great analogy that ross uh, and youtube share uh, the only thing is in ross when we use terminal everything becomes so unclear that it is sometimes you know, impossible to understand what is happening but if your theory is strong you will face uh, close to none problems in the future so this is all the ROS is in theory and the only question that I'm expecting you all to have is why go to the trouble of uh, creating a note talker, publishing one to three uh, to a topic and then subscribing it to the listener. How is it practically applicable on the robotics that we deal with? Why not just directly send what uh, directly uh, instead of talker, uh, publishing something to a channel and then being subscribed by listener why not directly uh, publish or uh, program the code to count one two thousand directly in the listener node the advantage over here is that a topic can have in robotics multiple subscribers it can have multiple subscribers and uh, if there is a problem in say a piece of code in the node 4 it won't affect the working of node 2 node 3 and node 1 so uh, the advantage is that uh, the piece of code gets separated into specialized nodes and if there is a problem in any single node none of the other nodes are affected by it and if you want to add some new function to a robot let's say we have a four wheel bot that moves and we want to add an arm function to it for pickup purpose so the advantage is that all you need to do is add some extra nodes and that is all you have you'll have to do if you already have a piece of code or a ROS, um, a ROS setup ready for the four wheel bot you need not touch any of it just add some more nodes for the specialized arm function so